Wednesday evening, quite late on, um, I called for petrol first. So by the time I got into the store, it was around eight o'clock. This is Sainsbury's. And I did say last week that I do prefer these Sainsbury's fish fingers that are 80p. So I thought I'd get some of those. Um, in the chiller cabinets, they'd reduced this salad already to 10 pence. The bistro salad, I got one of those. And the classic crispy salad, I got one of those. And that had been, can you see, £1.70. And what's that been? £1.30. And then I saw these, as they had, they had quite a few of these. I bet they had 15 basil, 52p down to 10 pence. So I got two, and I think what I'm going to do with that is dry it and then um, whiz it up and for my pizzas and things like that, or I might even make some pesto. I don't know. Mm. It's looking a bit tired, I think I might yeah, I think I'll just dry that. And I actually saw these, um, they had quite a few of these January the 31st, but it hadn't reduced them as yet. So I thought I'll just go walk around. Um, but in his in his uh, trolley, I found this reduced. Butternut squash, £1.25 down to £10. And then I went for a good look round. Oh, I will tell you beforehand, the butternut squash, when this has been cut like this, it's open to the elements. If it was just a whole squash, it would keep. But when things are cut like this, any vegetables you buy reduced that are cut open, I, will, I shall be cooking that tomorrow morning. But um, the salad will keep. It might just go a little bit limp, but it'll certainly keep two or three days. And as I say, the basil, I will dry. And then after I'd had a good look round, it got lots of things reduced on his trolley. And it'd been round this section, so these were reduced to 10 pence. And he said to me, do you want any tomatoes? So I said, yes, please. Loads of these taste the difference. To oh, sorry, those had been three pounds down to 10 pence. Those are organic. Anything that's organic as well doesn't keep as long as if it wasn't organic. So, but um, I do like grapes. So they they'll they'll soon be finished. The uh, taste the difference tomatoes have been one eighty five down to ten pence. I got two of those. There were some conference pears that have been reduced to ten pence from two pounds ten pence. And two, two lots of organic carrots I got, one thirty down to 10 pence. And I find that these really don't keep at all if you don't take them out of the plastic. Especially organic, so tonight I shall take them out of the plastic. I'll even rinse them in some cold water. And then I'll place them on a rack, let them dry overnight and then pop them in the salad drawer in the fridge. And I had picked these other two things up and thought, no, I don't want them. And as I was going round and having a look round, a friend texted me and said, um, do you want to meet up tomorrow? So um, I said, well, why didn't you come for lunch? So I went back and when I went back, these, these had been reduced, but not by that much. When I went back, they'd been reduced to 10 pence. So I thought, excellent. So this is what ludicrously light lemon and raspberry cheesecake slices. 3.35 down to 10 pence. And I got this quiche. 4.85 down to 10 pence. So those will be used tomorrow along with some of the salad, I think. Yes, that'll be nice. Anyway, so all in all, let me have a look. How much do I spend? £2.10 at Sainsbury's this week. 
and it's February now. Already. So that's the carrots washed and put on a rack. It's still Wednesday evening. I'll show you what they look like in the morning when they've dried out. So when the carrots were dry, I put them in the bottom in the salad drawer in the bottom of the fridge. And this is the next morning. On um, Wednesday, I actually bought some more of those chicken legs from Marks and Spencers for one pound fifty. There were just two big ones in it this time, and I uh, kept the bones. And then with the butternut squash, as I said, it needed using up. So with the butternut squash, two of the carrots, the chicken bones, one chicken stock cube and some garlic, cooked it down and then I just removed what meat I'd left on the, on the bones and I did leave quite a bit on the bones. Popped it in the blender and then I thought to myself, do you know, I think I'll add some of that uh, basil to it. So I added some basil and you know it didn't make a difference. The smell of basil in the kitchen. I do love the smell of basil. I think I might actually try and root some of that basil. Anyway, there we are, all blended up. And not to waste what was still left in the goblet. I just rinsed the goblet out with a little bit of milk. mixed it all together. So there we are. Some lovely Squash, chicken, carrot, and a little bit of basil soup. Let's just have a taste. Oh, that's nice. And for a good few weeks, if not months, the petrol at this petrol station that I monitor petrol has been 136.9 and with the new shipping routes I think that um, is adding to costs now petrol's starting to go up and at this petrol station where I monitor petrol it's now 137.9 and I have actually seen it at another petrol station where it's already gone up tuppence uh, a litre so we'll see if this feeds through into inflation in other areas. Take care people.